bustle of Times Square, the colossal Manhattan skyline, and the energy of America's most vibrant city are just a few minutes away. But NYC has nothing on what's happening in the Garden State this weekend. Here's the individual leaderboard then. Reed and Stenson set the pace for Chara Kongwat Mai, 23 years old from Thailand. He's two strokes back. But what about the team situation? The four aces and the Majestics dueling is USA against Europe. Incredible stuff. Let's head down to the first tee. All right, Stenson, great opening round yesterday. Seven under par, different format, 54 holes instead of 72. Does it change the way you attack the golf course at all? Well, I think it's more you want to have a good start. I mean, it's a it's a shorter uh, with three rounds, so um, yeah, it's less less ground to make up then, and uh, yeah, you just want to be quick out of the blocks, and we managed to do that yesterday. So uh, of course we can, we, we're hoping we can continue that way, but it's going to be a different day. I think with the wind out here, the golf course is going to play even tougher than it did yesterday. So um, yeah, we got to got to stick with the plan. Well, we've got some classic rock out here. We've got the fans. The atmosphere is amazing. How much fun are you having? Yeah, it's uh, it's loud. Golf, but louder. All right, well, back to you, Arlo. Thanks. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of pre-match entertainment here at Bedminster at the Trump National Golf Club. Um, I, you couldn't pay me enough money to do this, but apparently, David, you have tried this before. Yes, I have been thrown out of a perfectly good airplane. <laughs> uh, you know, you're really tightly you know, strapped to your, your tandem partner there, and I actually peed in his pants. <laughs> Two rounds to go to crown our champion in Bedminster. Let's check in with our winner in Portland, Brandon Grace. This for his birdie at 17. Chatted with him on the range this morning, and I told him your little stat from yesterday. I said, do you know how much your team has combined, your team and teammates have combined to make through two events? He goes, no, I told him the number 13.2. And that ever-present grin got even bigger. He just <laughs> laughed. Said it's just incredible what Live Golf has done. Who knows how much that is in the old Cougar runs. Oh, yeah. for par at the first. Yeah, it'll be a good par. He got very lucky off the tee shot, bounced in the bunker and went out of it onto the top lip. Otherwise, he would never have got close to this green. Stays two off the lead. Bachara Kong Wat Mai. See it for Brooks Kepka. such a horrible start that's a beautiful shot it's playing 194 today we've seen two near aces already this is Horsefield playing his fourth shot at the par four fifth I've been very impressed with Sam Horsefield oh no, that, yes and that's why that would be why well, we call this segment Don't Blink because there's action happening all across the golf course. This is what you might have missed if you blink. Justin Harding with the high flyers who are struggling again as a team. But that was his third shot at 15. Laurie Cantor at 75 yesterday. This his second at the 13th into that azure sky. Three over overall for Laurie Cantor. Henny Duplessis, what happened to the Stingers on day one? They underperformed based on their previous form, but that was for Birdie at 14, a 76 yesterday for Henny. Things looking like they're improving. Mickelson on the tee, 14. 225, can, they can get this to play up to 265 if they want. Oh, Peach from lefty. DJ for Birdie, Suat. He had a great eight iron into this location oh, what a good putt <laughs> that looked perfect from the minute he struck it and he can mosey to the hole and retrieve that ball and he is five under par Dustin Johnson two off the joint leaders but the four aces go three clear of the Majestics Mickelson had this for birdie at 14 that gets him headed in the right direction you know, a little uh, hybrid club here for Louis Oosthuizen. Just going to bunt that one. Easy, easy. Oh, yep, that'll do it. 
Reed going for the big flop. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Nicholson would have been proud of that one. Charles Howe the third moving up the pylon. He's in the top six now. At the sixth hole. Glorious. But Charles Howe the third from the Smash Golf Club as well. DJ, this is for five. You do not want to drop a shot at a par five. Yeah, nicely done. It's hard work. And this is the club that worked so well for him yesterday. Another beautiful putt. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh. Robbery with violence. That was rude. But this is all about control with the wedges. Downwind, it's going to make it really tough. Anything past that pin is going to roll in the hazard. He's been hitting his wedges so well. And the flag only uh, 25 feet from the back edge. Anything flag high here is generally a mistake. And that's a beautiful shot. It's really interesting how different these players are in terms of getting their caddies involved on the green. DJ obviously gets Austin, his brother, very involved. And then you have Martin Keimer, who and don't at all. Dustin Johnson has a share of the outright lead with his teammate Patrick Reed. We'll check back in on Laurie Cantor, David. His second shot at 17. Beauty. All right, Patrick Reed, short right bunker, not an easy shot here, Don. Yeah, just yeah, good shot. Kicks a little harder left than he wanted, but a good chance. The twelfth hole, and Turk Pettit with his second shot. Beauty. Well, action happening everywhere, as you know by now. 48 golfers, shotgun start, everyone out at the same time. Louis Oosthuizen, birdie four at 15. David Pouge of the Cleats, he's an amateur plays for Arizona State. That for his birdie at 15. Don't sleep on the niblicks, was Jerry's advice yesterday. Hudson Swafford for birdie at 12. He's their captain. It's an All-American team. It's another All-American team, the four races who are leading the way in the team competition. Oh. Travis Smythe. And that's the eighth hole and his third shot. Oh, get much closer than that. No, not at all. Uh, here's an interesting one for Patrick Reed. It's all trampled down in this chewy rough. Only worry is it's downwind. That sounded like a drop kick. It's going to come out with no spin. Take a look at some of the four aces highlights. They are leading the way now. This is Dustin Johnson. Earlier in the day for birdie at number four. Then Taylor Gooch had this up ahead for birdie at the 17th. Of course, that's why their highlights Gooch. This another birdie at one. He is currently, as we show these highlights, four under on his round today. Four shots clear of the Majestics. And this was Hendrick Stenson for birdie at the 10th hole. 
Yeah. Almost came back at him. Westwood with his second shot of the 10th. Just caught the edge of the fairway. Oh, what a beautiful shot from the Englishman. Come on, my at 11. Oh, another big tee shot, 111 yards. Wind's just died down. He could maybe, maybe be a little more aggressive. Needs to sit. It needs to sit. Mm, it did. Yeah. It did more than sit. Very impressive young man. A few moments ago, Lee Westwood. For birdie at 10, he is tied for fifth now on four under par. Good news for the Majestics as well. Who closed that gap against the four aces to three strokes? Justin Harding for birdie at the seventh. This would be a rare one. Yeah. Right in the middle, now in second place, two back all by himself. On the green at 13, Dustin Johnson to save his part. What a, what a four that is. Might have been a two shot save right yeah. there. Carlos Ortiz for birdie at 13. That's a good birdie on that hole today. Never a doubt. Moving up the pylon then, Taylor Gooch. Again, this for his birdie at four. On the par three, and he is three under par. Justin Harding, this for birdie at the par five. Eighth, and it just drops in. He's part of Phil Mickelson's high flyers. Charles Hall, Howell the third, birdie at 15, two over today after his 368 yesterday. I passed up my seventh year of undergrad to turn pro. <laughs> <laughs> Graham McDowell. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. come on. Oh. It's his birthday. Wow. Like Great a, birdie opportunity. Like a couple of. Uh, my age type people, or maybe a little younger, said to me in Portland, this ain't your granddad's golf tournament. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ortiz at 15. Needs to make this for himself and his team. Got yeah. it. That gets him into red figures for the day. 248 to the front edge, 295 all up. He'll, he'll take anything on the green, that's for sure. And this is leaking, it's leaking just slightly right. Covered. Uh, what a beautiful shot. That'd be pretty good. What a beautiful shot. A little understatement there, Kessler Corain. That is better than pretty good. Phil for birdie at nine. Get in the hole! Did it as it was told. He's nothing the last half a dozen holes. He can walk off here with a birdie and be really disappointed. That's the first eagle on the golf course, not on number eight in two days. Beautiful look across the water from right near the clubhouse of the lead group, not the final group. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Henrik Stenson, nine under par. So Taylor Gooch has had a fabulous day. And he is tied for third on five under par. His line is a TV tower. And a big 17 behind that green. 173 yards. Oh. oh wow, he got that to check. No Going hit downwind. Fabulous Ooh. shot. Could be five back here of Henrik Stenson going into the final day. So round completed for Henrik Stenson.
And so here is the leaderboard going into our final day at Trump National in Bedminster. Henrik Stenson, nine under par, has a three-stroke lead over Dustin Johnson. Lee Westwood and Ian Poulter are also challenging in the individual competition. We are poised for a bonkers final day <laughs> in Bedminster. <laughs>